This is something that you need to do before you sell your home. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of paint safely and environmentally friendly way. Today we're going to talk about getting rid of paint in the basement that we really don't need in order to prepare to sell your house. So here's some tools that we're going to need. A big screwdriver to open the cans, something to mix the, the stuff in with the paint cans, obviously some old paint that you don't want anymore, and some kitty litter. Now we're going to use kitty litter, you can use sand, you can use sugar. What I suggest is go find something that's really, really cheap. This bag of kitty litter was two bucks. You don't have to get anything fancy. Nobody cares if it's odor control. Get the cheapest possible stuff you can because this is something that you really don't want to do, but this is something that you need to do before you sell your home. And I'm gonna show you how to get rid of paint safely and environmentally friendly way. There's a couple different ways, but this is the way that we're gonna show you how to do it today. I'm James Tiernan from the Tiernan Group at Keller Williams North Shore West, your guide to real estate. Let's get started. So we've got several different cans of paint. We're gonna start with opening them all up and take a look. Now, it's a nice, it's a fairly nice day. So if you find something that is almost empty, you can probably just leave it out, not mix a whole lot in it, and it will dry up on its own. Here's a good example. This is mostly empty. If we just left that out, it will dry up on its own. You don't have to do anything. All right. And this one's mostly full. I've got some old kitty litter here that we're going to mix right in. This was kitty litter from a previous project where we did the same thing. And we just mix it right up. Put in a good amount. I'll show you that. Put in a good amount like that. And we're just going to mix it right up and turn it into a solid. Fortunately, this one's kind of solid already. So we might be able to work with this one a little bit. This one's pretty solid. So we'll take some of this one and we'll pour it in there just to make sure we have room in this one, in this can. And that's a great thing. You can just mix these up because you don't care. It doesn't matter what it looks like because you're not painting with it. Now, that's one of the easy ways to get rid of extra paint is to paint something. But if you've got paint that's been sitting there for a couple of years, it was there when you bought the house a couple of years ago, you probably don't want to try to use it. You want to do something like this. Put it into a situation where you can make it into a solid just by leaving it around and then you're good to go. All right, so, so you can see what it looks like. It gets clumpy, just like kitty litter should. And then you let that dry. It takes a day or a couple days. Just leave it in the garage, leave it. I would say leave it in the garage. Don't put it in your basement because it does have fumes. And, uh, and you can just, when it's solid, you can just throw it away. So we're gonna mix that up first. And now that we have this one all mixed up, I'm just going to get this one out of the way. So we mix that up. Now we can just mix in our kitty litter. And I would say you want to be somewhere around a half a can or less. If you have three quarters of a can, maybe you want to pour it into another can that doesn't have quite so much because it's going to take a while. The more you have in there, the longer it's going to take to mix up uh, and solidify. So this one starts to look like concrete with the lumps, uh, you know, that grainy texture. So we're not 100% there yet. So we're going to open up the new bag. We're going to pour some new stuff into this. This one's a little bit different have a different texture 
and that's perfectly okay. So you can see it's starting to absorb right away. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for something that's going to be more like a little bit of concrete, right? It looks like that concrete texture. It's going to help it absorb the moisture and turn into a solid a lot quicker. So again, this might take a couple of days. And if you have a couple of nice sunny days, maybe that's what you do. You leave it outside instead of putting it in the garage. Whoops. Well, that's not going to work out so good. Let's go get a new one. And this is pretty, pretty much getting where we want it to be. All right, so that's what it looks like. That's what it should look like. And when it's dry, it'll just be a nice big solid and we can throw it away without any concern. So we've got, we've knocked out two. This one here, again, there's very little in there. That one will just dry up on its own. We don't have to do anything. You can put some paper or whatever you want in there. So we've got some of that, and that'll just help move it along, but that's not a big issue. Now we've got this one here, which is, this one's about three quarters full. It's gonna take a little bit of work. So we'll start with mixing it up. So we're gonna throw in the kitty litter. We'll throw in a little bit of time. Again, the big pellets. All right, so we've mixed up some cans. We've got everything mixed in with the kitty litter and uh, check back for part two so you can see what it looks like when we're completely done and we'll be able to throw those cans away. Stay tuned, I'm James Tierner from the Tierner Group at Keller Williams North Shore West, your guide to real estate.